I've always known that the uh, the topping pattern for the uh, the S and P was all, uh, after this tremendous uh, bull run of the last seven or eight years was always going to be one that wasn't going to be easy and was going to fool a lot of the people a lot of the time. Similarly, um, gold did just the same after a huge run, and the yellow line is gold. This is a weekly chart. You're going to have to use your imagination here, but I remember being in this trade short and encountering a similar pattern, similar no, um, noise flow, news flow, that um, you know gold wasn't done and then it was going to go up, blow out its highs, and off to the races we go. So in any case, just take a look at this point here, this little chart formation, pretty dramatic run up and almost uh, to 2000 and and gold tops out down she came little stutter step over a couple of weeks put in a low and then charges right back up and i remember this trade because everyone said that gold was going to go and take out that high she didn't stutter step down she comes takes out that previous low kind of a w pattern a weak W pattern, a lower right hand side than a left. Back up she comes, almost to that high, doesn't take it out, peaks, turns tail, staggers back, weeks, leaves everybody, you know, jawbone and gold, gets right here to this point right here, holds, charges right back up, well within this peak, and then ba boom and sells off for months and months and months. Now, come over to the ES and use your imagination with me. We don't have the dramatic peak here in the ES that we had here, but in essence, this was the peak. We start our step and down we come. Jagged W pattern, we rip back higher. Jagged, rip back higher. We don't make a higher high. We stop just shy. We saw a tooth and then we rip lower. Just as it did here, we saw a tooth, we rip lower. Look at this little pattern here. Little W pattern. Very similar to this pattern right here, this W right here. And then we rip higher. Challenge that high, get everybody looking. We're going to blow out the highs similar to here I think we'll probably stop just shy may take a week or two saw a tooth right back down maybe not dramatic as they argue it out but look at how long this took from this period here this is um, August 19th of 2011 by the time gold really broke and took out the lows we're talking here this is you know um, March, March of 2013, quite a long time. I don't think it's going to be that long, quite frankly, and I don't think this area, when this gets challenged over here, is going to hold, because I think that the markets are much more, um, don't have nearly the confidence that gold had, not at all. So for us and we'll put up a number of charts we've we've mentioned the uh, the trend line the break in trend a reverse cup and a handle um, but for us we still tend to think although near term short term daily our models have the markets all along have had them since february sometime but we still think the risk reward is on the downside and not chasing it up in here it's come back up on less volume it has come back up on um, smaller or uh, contracting um, um, average true range contracting range so we don't think that this has nearly the momentum that uh, maybe the earlier runs had in any case good luck folks if um, we don't do a whole lot of charting our specialty is um, systems trading and we show our um, our traders every Sunday night, every uh, morning of the market, a, a video view of our swing machine gives a great view of the markets, tees up some of the most volatile stocks. And our most recent one was, I think it was ARNA. And um, 
she's done quite well here just in the last couple of days. $10,000 investment has returned something close to $2,500. Feel free to check us out. Thanks for viewing.